Hey guys, what's up? It's Bibzy the Seven here again. Welcome to another episode of my Hardcore Iron Man series. Starting this video off with some daily challenges during which I actually got the yellow bead, which was the last one I needed for Imp Catcher, which is pretty cool. Just have to go and hand it in whenever I feel like uh, at this point, so not bad. But um, yeah, my challenge was to burn willow logs, so that's what I'm doing, getting some fire making levels, some wood cutting levels, you know. All that good stuff in the process. It's actually it was kind of a lot of them, and uh, it took me kind of a while. Uh, and then I had to do some urns, which I then did and handed in for three crafting levels, getting me up to 47 crafting, which is pretty nice, not bad at all. And uh, challenge mystery bag actually gets me an uncut dragon stone, which is pretty cool. Uh, that's gonna be nice to make like a glory or something. I then had to make some wood kitchen tables, which was kind of annoying, but. It did get me three construction levels to level 24, so not complaining too much, I guess. Um, next up, I did a little bit of fishing because I had to fill up some fishing urns. Got one fishing level during that, and then one t handing it in, getting me to 45 fishing. I then had to kill some monsters for my Slayer assignment, which was actually Hill Giants. Got me one Slayer level during the actual challenge itself, and then one while I handed it in. So 11 Slayer now pretty cool I guess. Um, I then had to kill some, I mean make some dreadfowl pouches so I got a leveled while killing the chickens believe it or not and I then handed it in for six summoning levels which got me to level 10 summoning meaning all my skills are now level 10 or higher so pretty cool and I also got one unicorn horn from the thing which was pretty much uh, terrible. I then had to plant one Crandorian hop seed which was really easy just bought it from the lady in Draenor Planted it and handed in the challenge. Got 1600 doing my divination challenge and handed that in for two divination levels. Getting me up to level 35. So pretty cool right there. I then went to do some temple trekking because I wanted to get some silver bars to get my crafting level up to 56 in order to make myself some batwing armor. So you guys are going to see a lot of uh, crafting levels in a row right here because uh, I did get a bunch of silver bars. Uh, I had to go back to Temple Trekking to get some more to finish off the level 56, but yeah, it should be coming up here in a second, I believe. There it is, 56 crafting, and I can now craft the Batwing Torso. So yeah, pretty sweet. Uh, I then decided to go do a few quests, as you guys can see here. I am turning in the Fremenic Trials quest, very easy quest. The Koshi the Deathless fight is extremely easy if you switch it on to Legacy mode. Um, I got a boatload of levels from that quest, as you guys can see. A bunch of random distributed skills, strength, agility, fishing, woodcutting, fletching, and defense. So, yeah, pretty cool. Um, and it's a good quest to get out of the way, because it is a pretty tedious one. Took a little bit of time to complete it. Um, I then got a hit HP level while doing the Merlin's Crystal quest, which I then handed in for six total quest points. And then I did Holy Grail which was two quest points and a bunch of prayer and defense XP which I was going for. Got me 12 prayer levels to level 31 and four defense levels to level 43 um, because I obviously need 50 defense to wear my bat wing so I was trying to do some quests for some defense experience. Um, I then decided to go over to the Nexus. I got a prayer level there and then a couple farming levels while I took a break from that. Um, I was trying to find alternative methods to praying prayer, but the Nexus ended up being the only way I could really do it. Um, also a herbal level from cleaning the herbs I got from farming. Um, and then I forget why I was killing these hill giants. Oh yeah, I needed to bury some big bones for a daily challenge for prayer. Because uh, mainly at this point I was trying to get my prayer up to level 43 so that I could use protect from melee. So um, yeah, that's basically what I'm doing. Uh, right now. I had another summoning daily challenge as well, so I did that. 14 summoning and an adamant bar as my reward. Um, so, you know, I guess that's cool. Uh, I did these god statues next because uh, they can give you prayer experience as well as a bit of construction. So um, I was basically trying any way possible to train prayer besides just burying bones and doing the nexus because I didn't want to do the nexus. Um, and I actually got 60 combat when I got that uh, prayer level, so I can now do tasks from uh, death uh, or the soul reaper as you guys um, as you guys probably know it as so that's pretty awesome I'm gonna be getting one of those after I finish with these god statues I think or I might get my prayer up first 
But um, yeah, I got quite a good amount of construction experience from this as well. So got up to level 29. Was that my last statue? I think maybe I have one more even. Um, yeah, 30 construction was uh, my end uh, my end level once I completed all the statues. And I got 35 prayer, I believe. So it wasn't the best. And uh, then I just grinded it out at the nexus to get my prayer up to 43. It was really, really boring and slow. Especially because even on World 2, nobody else was doing it. So I never actually got the bones that you can bury for a lot of experience. I just had to do the bowls for the, all the experience that I got. So it was really slow and boring. But eventually I managed to get level 43 prayer and I unlocked protect from melee. Which is very nice. As well as obviously all the other protected prayers. So um, yeah. Now I am here at Death's Realm and I'm going to try and get myself a... Uh, Soul Reaper task, hopefully something good that I can actually complete. I obviously said no, that I do not want group bosses because that would suck. Gives me Chaos Elementals, I really don't want to go in the wilderness, so I skip that and he gives me two Jads. Skip that, don't care about the penalty, and he ends up giving me four Barrows Brothers, which um, I thought that I could definitely do if I used my Batwing and my Ivan Staff and stuff like that. So as you guys are going to see uh, in a second, I actually think this clip goes a little bit longer than it should because I forgot to stop recording. I thought that I did, but I must have missed the button or hit the wrong button or something like that. So a nice little showcase of me teleporting home to Edgeville. Pretty awesome. And then I realized, oh, I need to uh, end the recording. So um, yeah, I went back to Ogres for my defense experience. I'm not really sure where else to train, to be honest. But it was much faster than magic because I have my Ivan staff and I hit much more often and much higher. So it wasn't as bad as magic for sure. It only took me like, you know, 45 minutes or an hour to get these seven levels. And um, right here I'm about to hit that level 50 of defense. Boom. There it is. Rune armor unlocked as well as Batwing, which I'd already made it. It's in my bank. Um, so I can now wear it. So I'm pretty excited for that. I uh, then did a farm run, got 25 farming, and uh, Barrows definitely is not going to, I'm not going to be able to do this task because I, I just am too inaccurate. As you guys can see, I made it to the first chest, I got pretty crap loot, not even any death or blood runes, but whatever I guess. Um, but yeah, the clip ends there, and um, I had to like do like three trips to just even get that one chest in. And I had um, I had to use like three prayer potions as well as like two three inventories of lobsters, just because I hit so inaccurately. And protect prayers do not fully protect you; they only uh, have the damage that you take in. So it's definitely not very viable for me to do this Barrows task currently. I think I'm gonna wait until I get 60 magic and can use one of the God staves from Mage Bank, and then I'll give it another go and see if I can hit more accurately and actually have a good chance of completing the task. Other than that guys, that's going to be the end of this video. We got some pretty nice progress in this video. We made Batwing armor, got 43 prayer and 50 defense, so I'm pretty happy with that. In the next episode, I think we're going to try and get some more quests done, so I'm looking forward to doing that. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. Uh, I have been really busy lately, so I haven't had much time to play, and when I do, I usually play on my Iron Man, so no updates on the Majora Master or anything like that, but over Thanksgiving break, which is coming up in a week or two, I think like two, maybe three weeks from now, uh, I think it's more, more like more around two weeks, I will be recording for that over Thanksgiving break. I'll do a lot of trips and stuff like that. And then over my winter break, which is about a month and a half from December to January, uh, the end of January, I'm going to be making a lot of videos. I'm going to be playing a lot, making a lot of the Majora Master, and a lot more of this Iron Man series. So, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe for your videos, and peace.